Hi everyone. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning about how we can implement RAG application with the help of Vertex AI. So as of now, we saw how we can use model garden. Uh, that means how we can access different different kinds of model on top of that, how we can perform the inference. But let's say if you have some custom data and with the help of that custom data, you want to create a knowledge base and you want to connect your large language model there. Okay. And you want to perform the query operation on top of it. So how we can perform it. And this is called actually RAG. I, I think I already explained, okay, in my previous video. So if you're not sure about the reg guys, first of all, check those video, then you will be able to understand, okay, what I'm trying to implement here. So that means, uh, let's say here, I'll be using my custom data and with that custom data, what I will do, I will create a knowledge base. Okay. And I'll just try to connect my large language model there. Then I'll be performing the query operation on top of my data, the data actually I have uploaded. This is the thing we'll be implementing. And here technology wise actually will be using the Vertex AI, entire Vertex AI platform. That means here everything will be using uh, Google Cloud services. Okay. We are not going to use any third party services. That means uh, to store our data, we'll be using Google Cloud bucket. And to store our embedding, we'll be using uh, Vector Store. Okay. Vector Store service from the Vertex AI. This is one of the Vector database they have created. Okay. This is called actually Vector Store. So we'll be using all the Google Cloud service only, not any other service. Okay. In this video. So for these guys, you can see I prepared one notebook in the collab enterprise. So first of all, try to connect the notebook. After that, you can check with the help of OK command. And if it is giving the OK message, that means notebook is running. Then the first thing what you have to do, you have to install. These are the library. As I have told you, we'll be using uh, some custom data. I'm going to use PDF document. That's why I'm installing this PyPDF2. Okay, this library. Then Google Cloud AI platform. Because if I want to use the Vertex A, I need to install this package. Then I already told you we'll be using custom data. That means custom document. And to store this custom document, I'll be using uh, Google Cloud bucket. I think you know Google Cloud also provides bucket service. Let me show you. So if you just open Google Cloud and search for bucket. So this is the bucket. So here you can create different different bucket and inside a bucket you can store the data. See I already created one bucket called start content 2024 inside that I'm having one documents. I'll tell you how to uh, upload this document here. As of now just try to consider uh, we'll be using this bucket services to store my content. Okay. And no need to create manually. It will automatically create. I've already written the code for it. So these are the package you have to install for me. I already installed everything. So I'm not going to install again. Now see, you have to import. These are the library right now. So here I'm importing stories from uh, google.cloud because I told you we'll be using bucket and to use the bucket. I need this uh, actually function. Then I'm also importing text embedding model from the Vertex AI language model because here we have to perform the embedding generation and to generate the embedding and it's some embedding model and here i'm going to use google embedding model okay uh, from the vertex ai from the model garden that's why i have imported this text embedding model function then i also imported ai platform pi pdf and these are the library i also imported here and here i'm using ui id okay why i'm using ui id let me tell you see there is a reason actually i'm using ui id see if you're using vertex ai this rag would be slightly different okay slightly different that means Let's say whatever documents you will be publishing. Let's say I will be publishing one statistics PDF I'm having. Let me show you the statistics PDF. So guys, as you can see, this is the statistics PDF actually I'm having. So this particular data actually I'll be using as my custom data. Now what will happen? First of all, I have to extract the documents from the PDF. Yes or no? So after extracting what I will get, I will get uh, different, different documents. I think you know, I'll get different, different documents. That means doc one. Okay. Then doc two, doc two and so on. Now what will happen? This document I have to convert to embeddings as well. That means it would be converted to embeddings. So let's say you will get some vector here. Let's say 0 0.29, comma 0 0.55, 0 0.88, and so on. Let's say this is the vector representation of this doc one and doc two, and so on. Let's say I'll say I'll just create some dummy vector here. Now here, what I want to do with the help of this UI ID, I want to assign some unique ID. Let's say the document one it has extracted, I will assign one unique ID. Let's say this is the unique ID. Let's say one, two, one, zero. Let's say this is the unique ID. Okay. It has assigned to the doc one. Then the doc two, it will assign another unique ID. Let's say one, two, one, one. Okay. Now what will happen? This unique ID also would be assigned in the vector because this vector is representing this documentation. Yes or no? Okay. That's why this ID would be there. One, two, one, zero. Then this ID would be also there because this vector is representing this document. So one, two, one, one. Now what will happen? Let's say whenever you will perform the similarity source operation, that time what happens actually it will return the relevant answer. Yes or no. I think you know whenever you implement any kinds of rag, whenever you perform similarity operation, it will give you some relevant answer. Okay. Relevant, uh, relevant answer you will get. Okay. 
and from where you will get the relevant answer from the documents only you will get the relevant answer the documents you are having okay now let's say it will give you this relevant answer let's say doc1 whenever it will give you doc1 relevant answer that means it will return the vector because your model will only return the numbers not the text okay and this particular number will map where in this document that means this document is representing this vector that means whenever your model is generating this vector that means it will map this documents that means the text okay how with the help of this ui id okay with the help of this ui id so it will look for where this ui id is present that documents actually it will show you as a relevant answer okay now i think it is clear why i'm using this ui id to give uh, to assign actually unique id uh, uh, like uh, in front of my documents and in front of my uh, vector embeddings okay now i think it is clear now let me clear my board now the next thing what you have to do guys you have to initialize some of the variable now see if you are uh, doing this project from the google collab first of all you have to authenticate with your g cloud and how to authenticate i already shared you two code i think you remember two configuration code i shared with you in my uh like vertex AI demo session so you can refer the notebook and you can first of all authenticate with your google cloud okay and i said until you are not doing the authentication it won't be working i am running from my collab enterprise that's why i don't need to do the authentication so if you are running from the collab google collab so you have to activate this line actually project so you have to give the project id here how to collect the project id this is the project id got it so here i'm running from the collab enterprise so i don't need this uh, variable i'll just try to comment it out so here what i need i need the location and this is my location uh then uh, pdf path so why do you have to upload the pdf so in the files actually you have to upload the pdf let me show you so here you can right click and upload and try to select the pdf whatever pdf you are having just try to open it here it will automatically upload here see for me i've already uploaded and these two files would be generated as of now uh, see i already executed this project okay that's why all the artifacts you can see okay but for you it would be empty initially so this two file would be created how it will be created i'll tell you as of now just try to consider we have uploaded the statistics of pdf file got it then you have to give the bucket name so you can give any kinds of bucket name and make sure this bucket name should be unique so this bucket would be created automatically in the bucket section see it is already created for me again this would be created automatically you don't need to create it manually then here you have to give embed file path what is embed file path because see i already told you uh first of all we have to extract the documents from my pdf then what we have to do we have to generate the embedding as well with respect to the documents and these documents and this embedding i am i'm going to save in a json file okay that's why i'm just creating some json file you can see these two json file i'm creating okay starts embedding uh dot json and start sentence dot json inside sentence dot json it will store all the documents that is the english text and inside embedding it will store all the uh, uh your embedding okay embedding of the sentence that means whatever let's say uh, documents you are having that means whatever documents you have okay with respect to that it will store the embeddings as well okay with the unique id so that is the thing then you have to give the index name index name means uh let's say here we'll be using vector search now and inside vector search we we just create an index the way actually we used to create the pine cone index i think remember we, we create an index here so this is the index name it will automatically create that index now here i have written a function this function will extract the sentence from the pdf so it will take the pdf path and it will give you the sentences that means the all the documents it will give you then i have written some of the helper function guys you can see generate text embedding that means this function will generate the text embedding it will take the sentence and it will generate a text embedding with the help of text embedding model you can see i'm in, uh, using text embedding gecko model uh, so this is the model guys text embedding gecko 001 so this model is available in the model garden uh, in vertex ai got it then i have written another function generate and save embedding that means that means this function will actually add the unique id uh, in front of of your sentence that means documents and in front of of your uh, embeddings that means vector embeddings okay that means it will generate this both file okay and it will it will save as a it will save as a json file you can see here i'm doing it i'm first of all uh, actually creating my embedding okay and i'm adding the unique id i'm also creating the sentence i'm adding the unique id then i'm saving in a json file okay this is the thing actually we are doing that means this function is responsible for creating this two file and it will store uh, your sentences and it will store your documents as well as the embedding with the unique id okay that's it then there is another function i created called upload file that means after uh, let's say generating this file i have to upload this start sentence dot json in the bucket and how i will push to the bucket we will be using this function upload file i can see if you go to the bucket section so this file is already present okay so if you want to push any kinds of file you can use this function that means we created some helper function this helper function will help me to do certain operation this is the thing now here another function i have uh, written called create vector index so this function will create the vector index in the vector source okay in the vector source vector database 
and each of the dimension would be 784. I think you remember previously we used sentence transformer uh, actually embedding model and we, we used to create I think 384 vector representation. I think you remember, right? But if you are using this uh, text gecko model uh, from the uh, model garden, your vector dimension would be 780. Uh, so, sorry 768 this is the dimension and you can see with the help of ai platform actually library we are creating the index so this function will automatically create the index for you got it then after that i'm calling these are the function you can see first of all i'm calling generate and save the vector i'm giving my pdf path sentence file path as well as the embedding file path then i'm also uploading this file to my bucket that means if i execute this line what will happen it will create these two files first of all let me open it so this is my sentence that means this is my document and you can see first of all it will show you the unique id then it will show you the sentence okay that means this is the document it has extracted from the pdf with respect to that it has also saved the embeddings as well let me show you so this is the embedding and here you also you'll see the unique id that means the same id and now this is the embedding representation okay i hope now it is clear now so once it is executed then upload file will execute and it will uh, upload this sentence dot json to my bucket now if i show you see bucket would be created and inside bucket actually you will see this start uh, sentence dot json would be present okay because uh, later on whenever i'll perform the let's say similarity search operation i need that file i need to download that file with that i will do the uh, search operation okay similarity search operation that is the thing now the next thing what we'll be doing we'll be creating the vector index that means we'll be creating the index and inside index actually we'll be storing all of my vector okay so here you can see i'm giving the bucket name that means from the bucket name it will load this file okay it will load this file that means the sentence file so sentence file it will load then it will also take the index name and with the help of actually that embedding model, it will generate the embeddings of that documents. The documents actually we are having and it will store to the vector database. That means inside my vector source. Now, if I execute this line, okay, if I execute this line, it will take some time. It will, that means it will process all the data and it will store it to the vector embedding. After that, if you open it up, let me show you. So if you open it up, so you'll see that it will create an index. The name actually you have given start index okay now you can see both places you are getting this green tick icon that means everything is executed successfully if you are getting any red icon it's not completed okay that means there are some issue now if i click on the deployed index you will see one id here so we need this id later on so guys you can see this is the id the last number you can see this is the id so we need this id later on okay see this is the id this id actually we need later on so now let's get back to my collab now again just import some of the necessary library then again said these are the actually variable like your location sentence file path and index name that means the same index name okay same index name you have to give start index okay that's it then just load the model large language model here so here i'm using gemini pro you can also load any other model then just try to load the index that means index endpoint you have to load and to load the index endpoint you just need to give this id and how you'll get the id guys i already told you so this is the id just try to copy this id and just try to paste it here now if you execute it will load the index id got it that means this is going to be your knowledge base right now and this is going to be your model now again i have written some of the helper functions generate text embedding that means whatever user will give the prompt now let's say i have given one prompt this prompt should be also converted to the embedding okay then this function will help me to do that then i have written another function generate context and load file that means it will load that documents file and it will generate the context okay that means we are performing similarity search operation uh, it will give you some rank results and how it will give the rank results with the help of this two file a function it will give the rank results now here i've loaded the file then uh, you can see then this is my query let's say what is correlation first of all i'm generating the query embedding with the help of that embedding model and if you want to see the query embedding see this is the vector representation guys this is the entire query embedding now let me comment it now this query embedding i will pass to my vector source okay now you can see find neighbor it will give me 10 rank results okay 10 ra rank results actually it will give me then this response actually i'm giving to my model okay this is the code snippet my model will try to analyze this response even the query i have given based on that it will give me one response now if i execute see if i execute this last line of code see here you will get the response correlation is a statistical measure that indicates uh see blah blah i'm getting the output and here you have, you can also give the prompt based on the context uh delimited in the brackets answer the query okay that's how you can give any kinds of prompt and that's how actually we can build a retrieval augmented generation kinds of application okay with the help of vertex ai platform and all these steps guys i have mentioned here so if you are implementing any kinds of rag based actually application you can follow the same step okay even you can also perform in your local machine that means i told you how we can connect our local machine that means how we can connect our vs code so with the help of vs code also you can create this kinds of rag application and you can create a 
user interface let's say you want to uh, create a flask interface you want to create a streamlit interface you can also create so this task actually i want to assign you just try to create one user interface so you have to use the same logic only you just need to integrate one user interface that is the idea okay i hope it is clear now see once it is done now if you want to terminate all the instance what you can do so first of all uh just try to delete this uh so first of all just try to delete the bucket to delete the bucket just try to select the bucket and there is a delete button you will see just try to click on delete and delete confirmation you have to give so it will delete the bucket then you also need to delete the index so to delete the index just go to the index vector search so first of all you have to do the arn deploy then you can delete it right now i think hmm. now there is a delete button just try to click on delete so it would be deleted okay so that's how you can uh, remove all the instance you will be creating okay so i think guys uh this is helpful uh, i showed you the entire uh, uh like process how we can implement rack uh so in the next video we'll be creating some llm powered application with the help of uh, this uh, vertex ai platform thank you guys